If you're about to go on vacation or you just got back from vacation, this video is for you. What's up everybody? If we haven't met, my name is Peter and I'm an ex Goldman Sachs banker turned content creator. I recently had one of those once in a lifetime trips through Europe for two months. But once I got back, I actually felt really depressed and stressed out. I feel kind of down. I don't know, I kind of left my room in a mess. Maybe my life as well before I left. All the problems and pressure that I had left behind for two months, I came back to it. And it didn't go away, but it felt like it was worse. Just feeling financial pressure, pressure in my career, all this stuff was kind of coming up at the same time. Today I'm gonna to talk about how you can make sure when you come back from your trip, you don't get the post-vacation blues. One, you are not alone. According to Healthline, it's a very common thing that a lot of people experience after having a vacation where they have all this freedom, get to do whatever you want on your own schedule, and then you come back to your normal life where you have all your deadlines, the pressures. It's a really harsh adjustment. I felt so lucky to have that type of trip and I felt guilty for feeling bummed out when I got back. It's very normal thing and you're not alone. Two, clean up your room, your house before you go. so that when you come back from your trip, you can come back to a nice, clean, calm environment. Three, plan in rest days. So depending on the length of your trip, you can plan in a day or more to basically just rest and chill, like a beach day where you're reading a book, just chilling. You can plan to come back on Saturday and then rest on Sunday. Or if you come back Sunday, take Monday off. Just get your batteries charged up. Because the last thing you want to do is go on a vacation and then come back with your battery completely drained. Four, call up a friend. Hey, Pedro. We're all social creatures, so you know whenever you call up a friend or you hang out with a friend, how you feel a little bit better, your energy is a little mm. bit up. Um, so yeah, so just call up a friend and you'll, you might feel a little better. Five, go for a walk in nature. I'm not. Oh, it's really nice though. Fresh air. If you have a park, a trail, or even just the street outside your house, if you go for a short walk, five, 10, 20 minutes, it can really help you just to relax and clear your head. I find that when my body's feeling good, my mind follows after that. Bonus tip, plan something fun for this weekend or start planning your next trip to give you something to look forward to. Here we are on Prince Street. We're gonna go to Prince Street Pizza. It's supposed to be one of the best slices of pizza in New York City and therefore the world uh, if we're talking about New York slices. So. If you're enjoying this, you might enjoy this video about the 15 things I learned while traveling in Europe for two months. And if you want to get more content like this, definitely hit that subscribe button. I really hope you're doing well and I'll see you next week.